Welcome to the iHouse Elite training video on Turbo Leads, a CRM that helps you follow up faster with new leads, keep your appointments with current clients, and close more deals. Let's get started by looking at the main home screen in Turbo Leads. This is a dashboard where you can see any new leads and upcoming tasks for the day. Overdue tasks and unqualified leads are also going to appear here. Now let's look at a new lead. There's a lot of information about your lead here, and most prominent is the lead's contact information, phone and email. Next to the email address, you may see some small blue badges. If the lead is registered on your iHouse Elite website, you'll see an R badge. If they're subscribed to your marketing emails, you'll see an S badge. And if they're currently receiving house track email reports for a saved search, you'll see an H badge. Next to the contact info, you'll notice some icons for phone, email, and SMS. You know this as text messaging. These are functional contact buttons that you can click on to place a call, send an email, or send an SMS directly from the CRM interface. These buttons only work after you've verified your phone and email. If you still have not verified your phone or email, some of these icons may be gray and non-functional. So how do these contact buttons work? Let's look at each contact method. When you click the phone icon, your phone is going to start ringing almost immediately. The number you see on your caller ID is your assigned TurboLeads number, also referred to as your Twilio number since that's the service we use for phone call routing. We do our best to assign you a phone number that matches your area code or one that is close, depending on availability. Answer the phone and you'll hear a voice that tells you to press 1 to be connected to your lead. After pressing 1, you'll hear the phone start ringing through to your contact, and the rest of the call is going to proceed like any other phone call would. That very same phone number will route calls to your phone when dialed, so if your contacts end up saving the Turbo Leads phone number or they return a missed call from that number, those calls will always pass through to your phone. Now, we know some agents don't like the idea of a new phone number, so you certainly don't have to use our phone call features if you don't want to, but there are some significant incentives to use the Turbo Leads phone number. For starters, every call that gets routed through the Turbo Leads number gets tracked in the Turbo Leads interface. That means every call shows up on your contact's timeline, and incoming calls from unknown callers automatically generate new lead records in your TurboLeads CRM. And if you want to send text messages through this TurboLeads interface without ever touching your phone, you do need to embrace this TurboLeads phone number. Just think of this TurboLeads phone number as a business line for your real estate leads, a line that's completely integrated with your CRM. For email, we offer more flexibility. By default, we'll simply route your email messages through a TurboLeads email address, very similar to the way we handle phone call routing. But if you want the benefit of email tracking without using a separate TurboLeads email address to route your email messages, just let TurboLeads connect directly to your email provider via IMAP settings. Then you can send and receive emails the same way you always have, while still allowing TurboLeads to track email conversations with your leads. I'll show you where to find your IMAP settings and lead capture email address later in this video. Your communications will even be used to automatically update client statuses. For instance, a client status will change from new to attempted if you send them an email. And if that same client replies to your email, their status will change to contacted. You'll find your client status here in the about card, along with the lead source and any tags associated with the lead. Of course, you can change the status from here, and you can add or remove tags from here as well. It's important to keep your client statuses up to date so that your pipeline is accurate. Otherwise, you might end up getting overdue notifications about leads you have already contacted and qualified. Now let's look at task scheduling. This is pretty straightforward. Click the three dots to schedule a new task, add a short description, specify the type of task, choose a day and time, and save. This task will appear on your home screen on the day of the task, and depending on your notification settings, you may receive task reminders as well. Next, let's look at the timeline. The timeline includes both records of your correspondence and records of website activity. So if your lead logs into your website, searches for homes in a certain area or price range, you're going to see all of that info here. You can add your own notes to this timeline as well. If your client saves a search or a listing, that will be in the timeline too, but it will also appear above in the saved search and saved listing cards. 
Here in the Save Search card, you can save a search on behalf of your client and enable house track email reports to send email updates to your client when new homes are listed that meet the search criteria. The last card to talk about on the contact details screen is campaigns. TurboLeads has a great MailChimp integrated campaign system and any active campaigns for the client will appear here in this card. We do have a separate video that covers TurboLeads campaigns in depth, so I'll be omitting that topic from this video so we can keep this as short as possible. A link to the TurboLeads campaigns video is below in the video description. You've already seen that we get to view a contact's details by clicking on the contact's name, but how do you find a particular contact? If you're looking for a contact that's not on your home screen dashboard, you have a couple of options. For a summary of active leads and clients grouped by status, navigate to your pipeline view. Your pipeline only includes active leads and clients, so once a lead is disqualified or your client's status is changed to sold, the contact is removed from the pipeline. To browse your full list of contacts, use the contact screen. Click the magnifying glass to search for a contact by name, or click the filters icon to expose all of your filtering and sorting options. Use the checkboxes to select multiple contacts so that you can apply a tag or complete other actions in bulk. Click the blue plus icon to enter a new contact manually. The schedule screen shows all of your incomplete tasks. Unlike the home screen, this schedule shows all upcoming tasks, even those scheduled far in the future. The report screen shows an overview of your lead management stats, including the percentage of leads contacted, average time to contact, and more. You can filter these reports by lead source to see which lead channels perform the best. Now, let's move on to TurboLeads settings, where we can cover some of the important items I touched on earlier. First of all, we have your account card here, which shows your unique lead capture email address and your TurboLeads, aka Twilio, phone number. I explained the phone number pretty thoroughly already, but you might have some questions about the lead capture email address, especially if you're paying for Zillow or Realtor.com leads. If you have one of these external lead sources and you want to pipe those leads into the TurboLeads CRM so that you're able to manage all your leads in one place, it's very simple. You're going to take this lead capture email address and start sending your lead notification emails to it. We already know how to parse the notification emails from Zillow and many of the other major lead sources to extract name and contact info. If you have a more obscure lead channel that you want to hook up, chances are good that it will work automatically using the same method I described previously. But if it doesn't, just give our lead service team a call and let them know about the new lead source. Our engineers will get to work on supporting your new lead source immediately. Next, in the account card, we have your email integration IMAP settings. Again, this setting eliminates our need to route emails through a middleman TurboLeads address for email tracking. With IMAP enabled, TurboLeads connects directly to your email account so that you can send and receive emails as usual, while your email correspondence with TurboLeads contacts gets tracked automatically. To enable the IMAP email integration, flip the switch to the on position, enter your email and password, and save. Note that some email accounts might have some added security measures that block IMAP connections. For example, Gmail users may need to enable less secure apps in their Google account settings. Or if you have two-step verification enabled for your Google account, you'll have to create a separate app password for TurboLeads to use. More detailed instructions for these types of accounts can be found in our Help Center. A direct link to that article is below in the video description. The last item in the account card is the MailChimp integration, which enables TurboLeads email campaigns. Once again, we do cover this in depth in our TurboLeads campaigns video, so I'll skip that topic for now. The next card on the TurboLeads settings screen is an important one, notifications. Here we've given you very granular control over what kinds of things you want to be notified about and how you want to be notified. For example, you're certainly going to want to be notified about new leads, but how do you want to be notified? You can get an email, an SMS, a push notification, or any combination of these. If you're wondering what a push notification is, it's a system notification on your smartphone that comes from the TurboLeads mobile app. Obviously, a push notification only works if you have our app installed on your phone. I'll talk more about our mobile app at the end of the video. The last item in the notifications card is additional notification email address. 
If you need to send lead notification emails to an external CRM or to your assistant or anywhere else, you can set that up here. The email reports card needs no explanation. Enable these to receive various daily reports. Now let's look at the manage defaults card. The first item is follow up intervals, which controls the default time interval when scheduling a new follow up task. Next, we have the campaigns manager and the email templates manager. These are both covered in our Turbo Leads campaigns instructional video. Text message templates are handy when you're trying to follow up with a new lead as fast as possible, and you don't want to have to write an entire message from scratch. Disqualified reasons are the selections that appear immediately after you change a lead status to disqualified. We have eight of the most common reasons in this list already, but if you want to add or remove reasons from the list, you can do that here. And finally, we have tags. Every tag you've ever assigned to a client in your CRM will appear in this list. You can create new tags or remove tags globally from this screen. The next card on the settings screen is auto responses. Auto response text messages are a great way to guarantee that your new leads are always contacted promptly. You may want to send a question like, is this a good time to talk? If somebody replies yes, then that lead is hot and should be called immediately. If you don't want to be on call to follow up that urgently with your new leads, you can change the message to something more non-committal, like our stock message. Form auto response emails are exactly what they sound like. Email messages that are triggered by form submissions on your iHouse Elite website. Change the default message that is sent for all forms, or add rules to send different messages for different forms. Note that you cannot write your email content here. You can only select from email templates that already exist in your email templates manager. To add a new template, go back to the settings screen, then click email templates in the manage defaults card. This is the same collection of email templates that the TurboLeads campaign system has access to. And these templates are also available when composing an email via the TurboLeads contacts interface. You can access your TurboLeads CRM through your web browser on any device, but for an optimal experience on your smartphone, we recommend that you install the TurboLeads mobile app. The user interface is nearly identical to the desktop version, but with the mobile app, you have the option to receive push notifications directly from the app, which many people prefer over a basic text or email lead notification. The TurboLeads mobile app is available for both iOS and Android devices. Links are below in the video description. That concludes this TurboLeads training video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to call our Elite Service Team at 866-645-7700.